January 17, 1994. Los Angeles, the epitome of a city that lives by its roads, was struck by a massive earthquake. Buildings crumbled and roads heaved, buckled, and fell, including the Santa Monica Freeway, the most traveled corridor in the United States. Angelinos were paralyzed. The interesting thing about natural disasters is that they really force us to come to grips with things that we uh, take for granted. We then can't move from point A to point B, whether it's home to job or home to school, home to market. And then we come to grips with how important transportation is to our daily lives and to our economy. President Clinton declared rebuilding Los Angeles roads a national emergency. One of the people they put in charge was a burly, plain-spoken contractor from Rancho Cordova named C.C. Myers. He was a man who knew how to get things done. This was a road-building race with stakes like no one had ever seen before. If Myers and his crew could complete the breaks, including one huge bridge in less than 140 days, they'd pocket $200,000 for every day they saved. And lose $200,000 for every day they went over. Myers was a man who knew how to gamble. Myers began by having his crew put up 26 4,000-watt floodlights so they could work around the clock, shift after shift, with the progress never stopping. To tear down the wreckage, they used a giant machine that looked a lot like a Jurassic Raptor, attacking the gnarled concrete and steel. Ready to go into action were giant cranes, drill rigs, loaders, generators, and a fleet of trucks. In an outstanding show of guts, teamwork, and expertise, Myers and his crew finished faster than anyone imagined possible. 74 days ahead of schedule. And Myers earned a bonus of $14.8 million, doubling his original bid. And with the roads up, Angelinos went back to work once again.